Hello and welcome to another session of how to become a financial analyst. Uh, this is the third session of our pivot tables and in uh, my previous two sessions we have seen some of the dynamics, dynamic and advanced features available in the pivot table. So if you want to learn all for about the pivot table then I will recommend you to go back and look and listen to the previous two sessions. In this session we will see how we can use a pivot tables to do a reconciliation of thousands and thousands of rows in just few minutes okay so let me just introduce my data let's say um, uh, the concept behind the data is there are two different sources of a data one is my plant where we are producing the goods and from after the after the production we store our goods into our warehouse and this is something uh, which uh, reconciliation I'm doing for a number of months. Previously, there was a there was a uh, hectic exercise where people have to spend hours uh, in re reconciling the inventory. But uh, as soon as I converted this reconciliation data onto this pivot table uh, technique, it just become a few minutes uh, of a of a thing. So let me just introduce my data. So this one because it's written here the plant data. So this is the data from the plant. So there is a material number which we have produced. Uh, uh, definitely this is a number the line on which it is produced the badge number of the production uh, unit of measurement and this is the produced quantity and now if I go on to the data received in the warehouse moral is the same they call it CSKU component of stock keeping units same the badge number is same unit of measurement is same and they say quantity received the weight per box whatever it is and the person who has received the data now my boss wants me to make a, and if I go at the bottom, it is more than a 2100, 2100 rows data. So 2100 rows data, and here is the total is 245, 500. And if I go into my warehouse data, and if I go back, here is the total is 245, 300. Intentionally, I just put a round difference of $200 so that we can identify the difference. So plant data and the warehouse data. And how my boss wants me to do a reconciliation? He wants the material to be displayed, uh, then the badge number, then I should have to put plant quantities, warehouse quantity, and show where there are 200 differences. So this is the format on which we make a sheet. So before that, what I want, I want to create a third uh, sheet, which is which I'll call a, a data sheet. Okay, and I move it slightly to over this side. And now over here, I need some data. So I will prefer to copy the whole whole thing from here so I will put my cursor over here shift control and the down arrow key and over here I will take hold this data and will say copy this thing go into my data file and paste it as values I don't want those formats and everything and over here I know that I just need some of them I don't I'm not interested in location and the line number so I will delete this data and uh, I need, yes, I need uh, these two things. I need to use your measurement and I need a quantity produced in my in my location, okay? And then I go here at the bottom and I will go to the warehouse file. And before that, let me just put the headings also so that we can, you can understand where the uh, data is going. Free spans. And now I will say control down arrow key to go on to the last line and now i'll go into the warehouse sheet and want to copy the material numbers which is a sk number over here here shift control and the down arrow key all in one and control c control c to copy bring it over here and range value so range value if basically you go on home and here say paste values and then now I want to pick the badge number. I will go here and the badge number is here. Shift control down arrow key. Say copy. Come here and put it over here. And uh, unit of measurement is same um, because both are units using the same thing. So for, for a time being, I will just double click here so that it get copied everywhere okay 
and because I want to come back onto this one, so I want to mark my line so that I can understand. And remaining, there's nothing on to there, so I want to copy, put zero over here because I want to create a separate column for the quantity received. So I say quantity received next column and again you know it I don't want to put in front of these quantities so I will put zero here and double click so that system will copy zero everywhere till the bottom but I know the mark which I marked so here is I have to start the quantity so I will put my cursor here go on to the warehouse go on the top shift control down arrow key copy come over here and paste values and now I have if I go at the bottom and I want to put a pivot table so I, I will keep a gap over here so, and I want to make sure that my data is reconciled so I put here it says 245 500 and if I copy this thing over here it's a 200 so there's a, a difference of a 200 cartons over here and now I will put my cursor anywhere over here because this is all table so I can say insert a pivot table and as you can see that system has selected the headings and everything and is it an into a new place yes I want it into a new place which is like this and the very first thing I always prefer is to go into options into option one more time go into displays and convert it into a into a classic pivot table and now here what I want I want my material in a row yes I want my batch over here I want my thing here and I want produce quantity over here and I want this quantity over here okay so now I will go into designs I don't want subtotals I will align the data and make it more beautiful I just don't want some of it so I will just delete by just keeping one space here so this is for me produce quantity and this is for me is the quantity received so now they are parallel with each other as per the batch and now what we have learned in our previous session I will go into here into analysis I will go into my formula and I say calculate a field which we have learned in our second session and I call it difference and what is the difference how I want to calculate a difference simply I want to say quantity produced minus quantity received and here you see you can see that there's a there's a, a difference comes in and it's a 2000 rows data and you can see that in a few minutes and here's the badge wise different of that 200 things now there's another technique here and if I let it make it make some uh, bit uh, more beautiful and now I want to I don't want to see the lines with the zero differences if there's zero difference why would I just want to display these 2000 lines I just want to display the rows where there's a differences so what is that I want a filter but unfortunately whenever you create a pivot table and to go you some cannot go into the data this filter icon is not activated so you cannot put a filter within the pivot table but again as I told you that I've learned many of the things through my ex with uh, almost 20 years of experience so the one way of putting a filter is put your cursor out here and now it become activated and you put press this button and here you are and now what you can do you can say okay uh, show me all except zero I don't want to see the zero so now as soon as you do that you can see all the zeros just get uh, uh, get high and only the differences are here and now your job starts or you can forward this to uh, your warehouse people or to the plant people and ask them to put the reasons here in column G why 
when something has been produced has not been received in warehouse so their answer can be sir yeah it was produced but there was a sampling required by the marketing team and this badge was sent to the marketing director upon his request and such and such email is here and this is a uh, this doesn't received in the warehouse it went back to into the market as a sample to whatever or whatever the reason so there are many reasons which they can tell you and your job is simply to put the reasons or they will put a reason for you and hence your monthly reconciliation of our inventory is 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 done same concept you can apply to the vendor to, uh, and and your 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 statement reconciliation to the customers and your statement uh, recon, uh, uh, and your statement then and plus you can apply the same concept with the bank because bank will display the same check number which you have issued so the check number are always match with each other and if bank is creating a specific number of a of a document upon receiving some of the deposits i recommend you to you also do the same num, uh, same reference uh, which is recorded in the bank and nowadays uh, it's all electronic so you can download your bank statement into the excel your own gl will always be available in the excel and use the same concept to do a bank reconciliation in just few minutes now you don't have to spend hours on a daily basis or a full day or a half a day or a late setting for doing the bank reconciliation if you understand this technique you can do it into a into a very short time and plus that will also impress your boss because the people who were previously who were doing all those things will taking a long time to do this thing and now you have done something in minutes so you can prove that uh, that your excel skills are something uh, something extraordinary as compared to some of the other people's in the company now um, another very good uh, thing about the pivot tables and which this is the final thing now um, i previously also used this data into my um, into my i think sorting or subtoting anyhow so this is a uh, data which uh, has the date the name of the sales people um, sku or the products and the value and there are around 163 items are here so now uh, my boss wants me to print each uh, to uh, print everything separately or give him a file with the separate data of each salesperson or a sku or a date whatever it is on a separate sheet on a separate sheet so right now if i for example my boss says uh, give me a separate sheet of each sku in this file so right now i have seven sku so what i have to do i have to create a seven uh, sheets here sometimes you can copy paste seven times and can waste 10 15 20 minutes or half an hour but these are the seven but if you have 70 items then do you spend more than an hour in doing all those things or your boss can ask you same thing for a salesperson now here again i think we have more than uh, 15, uh, 12 to 15 um, sales people so do you spend half an hour 45 minutes in doing this no i will not do that what i will do there's a smart technique to do that first of all i will create it into a pivot table so i will go and say insert a pivot table and yes i want it on a separate sheet and say okay and over here i um, i want date i want sales person i want sku and i need the sales amount and again we'll go into designs i don't need any subtotals and I will go analysis options second time options display and we'll say classic display okay so now uh, my boss wants the the details on sku he say uh, give me seven sheets of sku so i will put the sku in the filter okay the moment i put a sku in the filter what i will do let me bring my sales the original data over here so the moment i put my data over here and then if i go on to options and say show report filter pages and i say yes i want to use this option and here it asks you is it based on sku i say yes i want uh, seven different sheets on sku so now again i've told you it's your choice it can be uh, it can be SKU or the product. It can be a sale person. It can be a location. Anything which is which you have available on, on in your data or can be date also. So I say yeah, I want it on SKU and I will say okay. And now you can see Jam Apple 
apricot, banana, cherry, diet and the last is jam and the uh, orange and the strawberry and this is the is this a pivot table so how do i know that this is the this is the banana detail how do i know because i cannot display the sku if I, the moment i bring the sku it will be open as a 100 percent uh, pivot table so one thing is i will put my cursor on the amount and double click this amount and the moment i double click is this amount it will open the details of this uh, of, of this total and now here you can see that this only contains the data of the jam banana so this is again a very smart technique whenever you are stuck uh, with the large data where you have to make summaries for example if you are working with a big multinational company where are 50 different cost centers and you make an overhead report and you have to distribute that 50 overhead reports to the 50 different cost centers managers this is what I've done a few years back so I don't have to create a 50 sheet separately to send send those sheets separately to them i just use this technique create 50 and then i can forward it by copying or copy or move or whatever other options you have used so i hope um, that you today you have learned uh, something new about the pivot tables and i will continue in my uh, coming sessions uh, i will cover many other uh, topics so uh, i request you to stay tuned uh, if you want me to cover any specific a scenario in the pivot tables then please feel free to leave a comment below and i will try my best to get back to you uh, kindly subscribe and uh, and uh, subscribe my channel and uh, press the bell button so that whenever i put something new uh, you can always get the in, uh, information about it and also the way you are getting a benefit from these uh, session, uh, recordings i suggest you to please circulate um, this information to your friends and families so that everybody can get benefit out of these recordings. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.